All right, people. So just came out of Sam's. I got some uh, sweet and salty mix cars right here. I got one of those. I got one of the sandwich crackers by Lance. Just one. I got one box of planters variety pack that has salt, salty cashews, salted peanuts, and honey roasted peanuts. And I have two of these, which have the top candies in the world. Uh, your peanut m and I'm sorry, your peanut m and chocolate m and Skittles, and uh, Hungry Wild Weight Snickers. And this was the most expensive thing right here. It was like like $32 or something like that. But you get 52 pieces. Um, and I sell mines for a dollar in my vending machines. So $64 for... 104 pieces which comes out to be what uh $40 profit not bad $40 profit so yeah that's the move we about to head over to the vending machines it's about a 20 minute ride when I get over there and get the stock in them I will be back at you guys and once again thanks for visiting business is life and I'm out this thing people all right guys as you can see I'm at the first machine and we are all out the chips. We got a couple of famous Amos. Got a couple of these Cheetos right here, which I need to consolidate over because I I don't know why I thought that was a smart idea to put two here and two of the same thing here. It looked like somebody didn't get there. Hopefully I can contact them. But anyway, I'm about to fill it up and I will come back and I will show you guys the finished product finished product yes I'm all right let's get it let's go so people we got the first snack machine filled as much as I can today with the product that I bought as you can see I still got two empty slots down there I have about three empty dollar slots at the bottom that I totally forgot about I need to re-up on that and we have zoo crackers, Funyuns, Famous Amos, and I don't know how to pronounce that. But some people eat it. I don't, I've never tried it. But yeah, that's, that's what it is. We're about to get over here to the soda machines and check these out. Make sure everything's pretty good with these. And yeah, guys, that's the move. And once I see if I'm going to feel these or not, I'll come back and show you the finished product. So, guys... Uh, I'm walking into the next building to check the snack and soda machines. Uh, when I get done, I'll head back to the office and grab what I need and fill them up. And I don't think... Oh, he did come. Did he come? Oh, the guy came in. He put a light in here. My guy. My guy. My guy. He put a light in here, guys. He put a light in here and he fixed the... Uh, the little thing down there wasn't picking up the sodas. You put your money in, it picks the soda up. It drops it in this little hole right here, and it wasn't doing it. But yeah, man, I'm so happy, bro. This machine looks so much better. So much better. So anyway, guys, let me get at it. Uh, get them filled. And I will come right back at you. All right, guys, so we finally figured out what we needed. I wrote down what I needed in the other vending machines, so I just wouldn't carry a whole lot of unnecessary stuff. And this is what we came up with. I got it kind of all mixed in, thrown together. But, you know, that's what we came up with. I'm about to head and fill the other two vending machines. And as a matter of fact, let me see. Can I take you guys on the walk with me? Because I'm, I'm using my phone. I normally use my GoPro, but... Having some issues as far as uploading it. I have to get a better computer. So from now I'm going to be using my very, very, very cheap smartphone. And I'm going to bring the content to you guys like that. So the quality is not going to be up to par as I'd like. But some something is better than nothing, obviously. So yeah, guys, I'm about to head over to the building. And uh, make sure I got to lock my door up. Head over to the building and I'll let you guys know how it go. So guys, we have finished stocking the machines for the day. Uh 
everything went pretty smooth. Um, it's like I just need to go buy more stuff, obviously. I got a whole empty dollars roll down there. Whole empty, nothing down there. Um, but yeah, pastries is what goes there. All those machines are good. And we are done for the day. Ooh, ah, ooh, people, out this thing. Now let's figure out what I'm going to eat today, man. Well, actually, I got to head back to my office and write some things down. And write down me a Sam's list. And then we'll be done. And I got to run to the bank. And then we'll be done. We'll be done sometime today. That's the plan. Ooh, man, this sun bright. Hold on, guys. Let me shade up. Let me shade up. Get my sexy on, B. Oh, man. Guys, I've been doing this vending for about a month now. Oh, man. I've been I'm breaking my shades. Oh, no, I did. Here we go. So, guys, yeah, I've been doing this vending thing for about a month now. And it's pretty cool. You know, the biggest, the biggest hurdle I find uh, starting out with the, you know, the way I started out is... Figuring out what sales is, is, I would say, is number one hurdle. Uh, number two, I would say, is just filling the machines. And I'm not saying just the, the process of filling them is hard. It's just, like, if you come collect, let's say, you know, you collect for your week. I have nine machines. The buildings I have, man, up there, okay. So let's say I just come collect $300. But if I need, if I truly want to feel all of, feel, up, oh, spill. If I truly want to feel all of my machines, like every last one, you know, to the T, it's going to cost more than $300. It's going to cost me, it's probably going to cost me right at, I would say right at four, anywhere between four fifty to 500 to fill them all. So, you know, that's kind of like the little small issue that you run into as far as filling them. Now, the positive thing about going ahead and filling them getting broke, or not getting broke, but just spending all your money filling them, is you're pretty much caught up. And you, like, you, never, you never should fall behind. I'm not, not going to say you won't, but you never should fall behind when you're filled up like that. Anyway, guys, I don't have my, fucking, my freaking selfie stick. And this pushing this and holding this phone is not working for me. So I will get back at you guys when I get to the office. Peace! So guys, the day is officially wrapped up. I have did my inventory. Um, I filled all the machines to the best of my ability and to the max capacity that my inventory would allow me to fill. Um, and now it's back to the regular schedule programming, man. It's a great thing about great thing about you know having a vending business is. It's such passive income. You know, as long as you can keep your machines in tip-top condition, keep your clientele happy, it's a fairly easy business, to be honest. Fairly easy business. Especially if you work near your um, accounts. If you work anywhere near your accounts or just live anywhere near your accounts, they're super easy to maintenance. As of now, I'm driving roughly 45 minutes to get to my accounts. So it does, you know, it's a little bit strenuous when it comes to mines. But I will, I'm in the process of actually moving um closer to my accounts but yeah man it's been a um been a pretty positive day um uh, about to walk over to my cafeteria that hadn't opened yet and see if they installed the ice machine and hopefully they did that well yeah man this is just the life of um oh i'm sorry business is life i was about to say life of a businessman but business is life believe that people believe in yourself don't be afraid, be afraid to go broke. Don't be afraid to spend your last as long as you're spending it on something that you're passionate about. Not Jordans, not clothing, not food, not, you know, unnecessary items. Um, you know, spend it on your dreams, man. Go broke chasing your dream. I, that's the best thing to do. We only live once. Um, but anyway, guys, man, I definitely appreciate <clears throat> you guys for checking me out um again y'all can go check out my other channel it's called uh mr nipple titties network i'm not that skilled in this whole youtube game as far as linking stuff and yeah all you good youtubers out there 
know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so I'm doing all this from a very poor quality phone. I'm in the process of purchasing an iMac. I have a GoPro that I will be shooting my videos on. But right now I can't shoot them on my GoPro because I don't have a computer to upload them to. And they won't upload to my phone so I can edit them properly on uh, iMovies. And I, yes, I do use iMovies on the Android, by the way. But, um, yeah, that's, 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 that's the problem in a way. But uh, I promise you guys the quality of the videos will get a whole lot better. Um, I'll get a whole lot better. I'm 100% new to this, you know. It's a new venture of mine. I've, I've, again, I just said to spend money on what you're passionate about. I'm pretty passionate about this. I, I, I want to get my message out to people. I want to let people know my story. You know, let them know where I came from. I've been at this business thing a long time. And I'm finally starting to get breaks at the age of 29. And I've been at this since I was about 22. And I'm finally starting to get the breaks. And, you know, it's just things on the up and up. So 2018, a positive year. Don't forget, guys, business is life and life is business. It's your boy out of here. Don't forget to go check out Mr. Nipple Titties Network for my weekly vlog. Like, subscribe, share any business people that you want to um, enlighten. Share this with them. I'm a pretty enlightening fella outside of my skin complexion, but I love it. I just love it. I just love it. Anyway, <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. I'm out of here, man. Peace.